Um, so I was told I was a gifted kid from a very young age. And I think that does something to your brain. Mm-hmm. So you're like, I want to be in STEM. Mm-hmm. I am apparently a genius. So I'm going to grow <laughs> up and be a genius. <laughs> something <laughs> like that. Yep. So I remember being very like academically oriented as a kid. So like other kids wanted to be soccer geniuses. I'm like, I was told I'd be a good scientist. Maybe that. So yeah, I remember, well, I don't remember having a specific thing in mind. Maybe I did. I kind of, I mean, obviously I grew up with a medical background with mom, etc. So that was always kind of in the back of my head, but I always had lots of different interests. But I remember not entertaining any of them very long and just being like, oh, it'd be cool if I did this. It'd be cool if I did that. I remember I was walking in the grass once. I was with mum and I was just so fascinated by the plants. And I'm like, this is incredible. And then I turned to mum and I said, mum, what if I become a botanist? And I was so excited. And she gave me this look and she's like, "Mm, mm." And that's the day I realized that my dreams didn't matter. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. That got dark so quickly. (laughs) I didn't know how to end that joke. Okay. Yeah. No, I didn't mean it. I I think you ended it. (laughs) (laughs) You you ended it with the dreams of a lot of the people listening. (laughs) I just, yeah. So I always liked a lot of different things. I tossed up a couple of ideas as a kid. Didn't really settle on one. And then... The more I grew up, the more people oriented I realized I was. And so choosing to be a doctor at that point in life just seemed very natural. 